from Chilo de los Niños is a children's home that provides the opportunity for siblings to grow up in an environment of love and caring while remaining connected to their family of origin. The children who are here will receive an education and we have three goals for these children. We want them to know there's a God. We follow whatever religious heritage they come to us with, but we want them to know that there's a God. And we want them to know that they have worth because they were created and they are children and they do have meaning and worth. And we want them to have the most powerful education possible. So whether a child is here for a year or for 10 years, when they leave, we want them to walk away with that information and with that knowledge. The children at El Ranchito are placed here voluntarily and they have done nothing wrong. They are victims of a situation which has become overwhelming for the family. Um, frequently, um, a parent might have a mental illness, have been incarcerated, may have substance abuse issues. Uh, it could be that they simply have passed away and there are no other resources for the family. A typical referral is a grandparent who's raising their grandchildren and has run out of resources and really has no place else to go. The children here are victims of all different kinds of abuse, but when they come in here, that abuse stops and they have an opportunity to start being children once again. If we were to get a grant from Albuquerque involved, we would use the money for our education coordinator. One of our goals here at El Ranchito is to make sure that our children have the best education possible. And so we send these kids to private schools because they come to us about two years behind because they have not gone to school with their parents. So when we do that, these kids have to be brought up to speed. And so with the education coordinator, she monitors everything. She goes to the school and she talks to the teachers. She reviews their grades. She reviews their homework and she goes through all their paperwork every single night. She actually will coordinate tutors for them and she will make sure that they are brought up to speed and even beyond what they ever thought they would be able to do. One of the reasons we have so many animals on site is that the children come to us frequently having been abused in ways in which they've had no food or water. So they don't have what we refer to as a database. There's very little empathy for those around them because they have been in survival mode for so long. You and I walk past a water bowl, we'll pick it up if it's empty and fill it full of water. The children here don't have that information in their brains yet that level of, I have to take care of this animal or no one else will. So we have these animals to teach the children about empathy, to help them gain that information, um, the, the feelings that they are necessary in the life of another being. And that, for me, sums up what El Ranchito is. It gives the children an opportunity to see the world from a very different perspective, a much more kind, a gentle perspective that they can then incorporate into their own lives and share with their own children.